Hello, I'm the Red Monk, and a thing of that I don't do enough of on this channel is talk about how shitty corporations are. You know, it's just a race to see you can, you know, fuck up the world as much as possible by the next financial quarter. And it's just a total fucking shit show how these things are. It's like, you know, we got climate change, we got the prison system, we got automobile dependency, we got tax evasion, the Delaware loophole. We have, you know, abusing tax relief, you know, just shit after shit, just whatever can make the most amount of money by the next financial quarter is how our entire system is run, and it is fucking stupid, it is fucking stupid, so I decided to make a video where we do a reaction, one of those little things, on a video FedEx made. That shows, I think, all of their, like, higher-level workers. Not just, like, the people on the ground. Not the pheasants. Not the sweatshop workers. But the, you know, like, the higher-up manager positions. To work at FedEx, you have to watch this video. And it's basically saying, you know, unions are shit. You know, these things called unions. Which, they're not, they're not 100% perfect. But I think if it can cost the, these mega corporations, FedEx, enough money to have to tell all of their certain workers that they are bad. I think that's good. That's a good good sign. So this video is like half an hour long. So we're just going to watch the beginning part of it. We're not going to watch the whole thing. But it should be funny. It should be funny. Hot dogs and hamburgers. Should be steak. We ought to be celebrating. You're celebrating. All right, so right off the bat, do you think the warehouse workers at FedEx have a house? <laughs> it's like, that, no person, if a person who works at FedEx on the ground who gets an hourly paycheck lives in that house, it's their parents. I mean, they pay them way too little. Damn straight. Yeah. No, me. I don't see me looking at no condos on the shore or nothing like that next week, you know what I mean? Well, meaning what? Meaning that I don't think that your little union is going to be winning on Thursday. Jeez, man. Are you still holding out? Yeah. It's like you say. Damn straight. That's not fun. So, will Steve be having his usual? Two hot dogs, three hamburgers, as long as everything's covered in mustard? Yeah. And as long as there's plenty of these Jersey tomatoes to go on the burgers, you know? That and enough yin. That's how humans you know, talk. We went to canals. We got everything covered. Hey, you got no around here to get a beer, huh? Hey, Mike, how you doing? How am I doing? You kidding me? Maria's out of town at her mother's. It's like I'm on vacation. Yeah, well, we'll tell her you said that. Yeah, you're just a woman who would. Hey, where's the guys? Uh, out back. Here, take these with you. Sure. Uh, for a cold one. Oh, sure. <laughs> How's your mom? Oh, tough as nails. Same as ever. Good. Tell her I said hi. All right, I will. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. We got fucking Lay's chips in the back. They're fucking advertising oh, uh, Lay's chips. Uh, you know, it's the tape that the company sent about the union elections. Yeah, yeah, we, we got one. Steve tossed it in the trash. <laughs> you didn't watch it? No, Steve says it's a bunch of company BS. No, Pete and I watched it. And you need to see what's on this tape. So you're saying we'd be better off keeping things just as they are, with no association. Association? Steve, why don't you call it what it is? It's the union, a labor union, and better off... Yeah, I'm better off being my own boss. Oh, well, look, I'm telling you, we gotta have help to get what's ours. Okay. What's ours, Steve? Money, Mike. Big bucks. Yeah, Steve thinks that association is gonna make him a freaking Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so how much you paying them anyway? Topical. Uh, this is from, like, the fucking money. 80s. Not much. So. 500 bucks? 500 bucks from each of us every year? And, and that's for just as long as they keep the case open? And that 500 bucks, I'm telling you, that's just the beginning. Okay, look, when they make FedEx home delivery, pay us for our routes, pay for our trucks, and all our expenses for the past couple years, I mean, 500 ain't nothing. But, so, who says that's gonna happen? I mean, like, out in California, that, uh... I mean, they pay you uh, as least as they possibly that. can so off tops. You know, you feel full of it, you know that? Yo, Pete! What you burning today? Hey, Warren, how you doing? Hey, better than the burgers you cooking, I think! <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on over for a second. See now, Warren? Warren, he's got a lot of experience with these unions, so listen to him. He'll talk to you straight. For years, 
FedEx Home Delivery has struggled to become a player in the small package delivery business. Home delivery contractors have sweated and broken their backs to develop their service areas and customer bases into ever-growing and profitable independent businesses. You wanted me to see this? Just keep watching. This is company BS. Be quiet already. At first, the only game in town was UPS. But independent contractors and the independent businesses they've created have taken on UPS and made them sit up and take notice in a very short period of time. That means the FedEx independent contractor business relationship is working extremely well. So well that the company is currently investing $1.8 billion to upgrade facilities and technology over the next several years. That $1.8 billion means FedEx is committed to helping every independent contractor's business continue to grow. $1.8 billion? Now you got my attention. Uh-huh. Maintaining your independence is one of the principal reasons why FedEx Home Delivery feels so strongly about not letting a union into its independent contractor's businesses. There are substantial risks involved. Things could change drastically. There's a lot of uncertainty over whether the company or a terminal could operate and compete successfully under a totally different contractor relationship. So, wait, wait, now is when it gets good. I fucking hate these hookers. True or false, when a union wins an election, the union gets the right to negotiate with the company over employees' terms and conditions of employment. True. The right to negotiate, but that's all. Negotiate. They're basically saying they try to fuck you over as much as possible. True or false, a company is legally required to agree to any union demands made during negotiations. False. A company is not required to agree. The National Labor Relations Act says the obligation to negotiate in good faith does not mean, does not mean... That any party it's basically saying, the if you join a the union, party. they'll still fuck True you over. This is... If the union is elected, employees automatically get a contract with improved wages and benefits. False. If a union basically, elected, it means the unions could not limit how much they can fuck you over. With improved wages and benefits? No. They get the right to negotiate. As a result of negotiations, wages and benefits... What do you think the company would negotiate for? Do you think they'll the negotiate for better pay? Down. Or do you think they'll That's negotiate to pay you down. less? The they're they're telling you they want to pay you less. There is no obligation on the part of the employer to contract... To so they're, they're, they're basically saying they want to pay you less if they can. Nor is it an unfair labor practice to offer reduced benefits. So Steve and Pete could be making less than they're making now. Yeah. That's what you so want. Need remodel kitchen anyways, huh? True or false? If a union wins an election, there is no guarantee an agreement will be reached. And good faith negotiations sometimes can take months or even years. True. Negotiations can take months. And then, within a year of winning an election... All it's saying is that they, when they negotiate, they're negotiating to pay you as least as possible, and they're trying to say, they're trying to fuck you over as much as possible. ...unilaterally grant every employee wage and benefit improvements. True. No improvements during What is the company negotiating for? It's just saying that the company can fight back and still make it a fucking shit show. So this just keeps getting better and better. Look at these fucking thoughts. These fucking bitches. Who got the black guy? Fuck, I hate Steve. So, uh, when is it you guys vote? June 30th. I was getting close. Who gonna win? Yeah, there ain't gonna be no damn union lawyers. Jeez, <laughs> uh, some people just don't know what's good for them. Uh huh. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what do you expect? Mike's a Mets fan. I mean, they can't decide to play ball or sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've been listening to the WIP. Katali's still tearing up on T.O. Yeah, he ought to. T.O.'s got a contract. Nobody's made him sign it. He ought to live up to it. Yeah. Somebody signs a contract, you ought to stick to it. Damn straight. Yeah, damn straight. Sure likes to say that. <laughs> uh, huh, well, uh... 
contracts. Now, you signed a contract with FedEx Home Delivery to be an independent contractor. Uh, it ain't the same thing. And the hell it ain't. Oh, oh yeah? Well, T.O. gets paid what he's worth. We don't. Which union vote now? Teamsters? No, look, it ain't the Teamsters, and it ain't a union. Yeah, so what is it then? It's association. Damn. All right, I hate the characters. I hate the actors, because they agreed to act in this shit show. Like, not only the characters are bland and just dick suckers, the fucking actors are dumb enough to take the fucking role. Okay, look, we're not alone. We got some lawyers already. Some lawyers. So who's they? All of us. Not all of us. Yeah, well, all of us just got two matching brain cells. Yeah, he likes to say that, too. Mm-hmm. And what do lawyers do to start your union? Association. Whatever. The green shirt guy is obviously the dumb one. They're the one they say, look, look at this guy, look how dumb he is when he talks. All there is is like, there's a, I fucking hate that guy. FedEx Home Delivery will have to give us benefits, maintain our trucks, pay us overtime, and... You think this sounds good? Yeah, it is good to be paid, you dumbass. Okay, look, it beats the hell out of us paying for everything. Yeah, but who wants to be an employee? I mean, I signed with FedEx Home to have my own business, be my own boss, set my own hours. Yeah, so? So, I see Pete coming and going around his place. That looks like he works with every once. And that could change if the union got in. Uh, no way. Hey, hey, I can tell you that if you guys are employees and you got a union and everything, there might be some big changes. Now, every union place I worked told me when I had to come in and when I had to go home. That wasn't up to me. They set my schedule. They set my schedule. Got temp drivers and the full -time swing I'm driver the token and black guy. And now, like I said, things could change. Now, you sure don't think that you can negotiate on just what you want, do you? Now, you can bet that FedEx Home Delivery will have some stuff, maybe a whole lot of stuff, that they want to negotiate. Yeah, you know that's right. I mean, what the company could propose might not be anything that you association guys want. You're trying to argue for the company, and the company's when trying the company to fuck you does over. Not agree to union demands, the union can strike. True. <laughs> the union can strike. True or false, employees called out on an economic strike are paid. False. They're paid nothing by the company. No wages or company paid benefits. Economic strikers can be permanently replaced. When the strike is over, they may have no open jobs to return to. True or false, unions collect dues. True. Unions collect dues. For example, the Teamsters currently collect a minimum of two and a half... Oh, you're fucking hitting on the union for having money. And you're trying to fucking not pay people so you can put that money into your pocket. How? That is such two-sided shit. How the fuck are you going to berate someone for being a shit show over money? And then... Not try to fucking pay them as least as possible when they try to get more money. True or false? After negotiations, the union can guarantee the same flexible work schedule. False. The union cannot guarantee the same flexible work schedule. True or false? The union can guarantee to keep your settlement levels like they are. False. The union cannot guarantee current money levels. True or false, the union can guarantee contractors will keep their current rights. False. This is just basically the saying the company will fuck you over if you try to fight their fucking the millions of dollars. Guarantee compensation for loss of equity in current rights. False. The union because that's not the union's fault. It's the company's fault if they want to fuck you over. Who would pay you money to buy a business? To buy a business to buy that doesn't exist. All of this, this is incredible. I know. I thought the same thing when I watched I know. I thought the same thing when I took the shit out of your job. All these lawyers and this association is going to make him rich. Can I borrow this? Yeah. You just think working at FedEx will make you rich? Do you think you'll get more than $12 an hour working at FedEx? And what's your name? What have you got to make FedEx home delivery give you what you want? 
I don't know. Strike? How many guys you don't have in this union? Everybody. What's everybody? Oh, we're helpless. We can't even, like, all the, they tell us all the shit we can't do. That's the company. That's on the company. How they can fuck us over. We're fucking helpless. There's no hope. This is fucked. This whole independent contractor shit still makes the company money. It is just extra steps. It is just extra steps for some extra fucking trip so they can still make money. Okay, that class action suit they filed for us against the company, I mean, all of us that signed up for it are going to be sitting fat and happy pretty soon. I mean, we get reimbursed for everything we spend. Steve, no. You know that there's over 100 cases where FedEx contractors were found to be independent contractors. The only case this association got to talk about is this Estrada thing. What's Estrada? Uh, it's a class action suit like ours, only in California. Yeah, that was filed like back in uh, 1999. Yeah. The way it came out was that multiple route Look, it's the green guy versus the two white dudes and, and the black the dude. Single route guys. Yeah, now those guys, they can't even get reimbursed for the trucks. And FedEx, they don't have to pay them any overtime. I mean, shoot, the issue got dropped by, by the lawyers at the beginning of the case. And what kind of money they'll get for some of the reimbursed expenses, that still ain't been decided. Oh, see, look, that's California, not Jersey. I mean, it ain't gonna happen with us. Man, that's what a California judge ruled. Well, a Jersey judge, he could award him anything or award him nothing. The California case, it ain't over yet. Man, who's paying those lawyers? If a case runs for six years, now that's some serious cash. <sighs> mm. Terry, I'm gonna put this near your purse. You didn't even see the part where the union tried to get in before. The union tried to get in here before? Well, not here. God, I hate these thoughts. It was the Detroit terminal. The Teamsters told the ground contractors they could get them more money, better benefits, job security, you know. Yeah. And that is bad because the company doesn't want wages. This is why we have sweatshops in China because it is cheaper to pay someone two dollars an hour than to pay them like an actual salary that's livable. Right? It's, it's cheaper to have a ton of Chinese children pay two dollars an hour. Right? It's all about the dollar sign. Right? Couldn't get any increases because they were bargaining for them. That bitch is fucking ugly. Oh, guys, that, they never got back. that bitch is fucking ugly, man. Steve, I gotta tell you, I don't like what I'm hearing. Oh, oh, oh you gave me to a fucking. Facts is facts. I know what I got now. I like it. I like being my own boss. I like growing my business, hiring who I want, delivering when I want to. I've already worked plenty of places where I got told what to do and when to do it. Now, me. I'm sticking with what I know I got. When to lose all your, so, when to lose your job so security, when to lower your pay when yeah, needed. Listen, tell me something straight up. You thinking about selling your route? What do you mean? Just I heard you were talking about selling. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is guys like you stirring all this up. So then win or lose on the 30th, you get out and leave the rest of us hanging. Okay, look, you, look, you do what you want. I'm doing what's best for me. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, man. So I guess that means that both of you guys are voting no on June 30th. Damn, Damn straight. straight. This is from the fucking 80s. What the fuck am I doing with my life? From the fucking 80s. Well, bullshit's the same no matter how old it is, right? It's just the same fucking shit. Now... I have, a, I have a funny question, okay? I have a funny question. Do you think the company wants to make money, as much money as possible, or wants to not make as much money as possible? It said, I kind of said all this shit that the union was powerless to and that true and false parts. Like, you can still lose your fucking job for no reason to give some millionaire more millions of dollars. True or false? It's like, yeah, the company can fuck you over. Yeah. But, I don't know. That was fucking stupid. Uh, I really support the green guy. I know the actor was just a dick sucker for taking the job. How much of a fucking... Those bitches were fucking ugly. They, they, they were unappealing. They were ugly. But that is a side point. The point still remains that the it's a 
the company that's mean to make profit. It's not mean to do the right thing. It's not mean to hire. It's not mean to you know pay their workers a livable salary. You think you can live off of seven fifty an hour? You think you can you know pay rent working like sixty five hours a week for minimum wage? You can't. You cannot. And it's just the same bullshit. It's just the same shit. So the money flows in the same direction. This is just fucking fucking World War Two propaganda. It's just dumb fucking shit. It it says nothing. It never says anything of how the workers, you know, need to get paid. How the workers have rent to make. How the workers have uh, mouths to feed. It doesn't say anything about that. It just says, you know, our company can fuck you over if you try to stand up for yourself. That's all it's saying. That's all it's saying. Not only that, I like when they talked about the negotiations. They talked about the negotiations and they said that you can get paid less after negotiation. Now, what do you think the company is negotiating for and what do you think the union is negotiating for? All right? If the company is uh, negotiating for less wages, do you think they really fucking care about any of their employees? Do you think they're more than just a number? Do you think this is more than just making the fucking number go up the next financial quarter? It's just the same fucking shit. And this is just... This is just a dumbass fucking union commercial. Think about fucking... Climate change, right? Soon, we'll be under fucking water. That's real, by the way. Think about the fucking prison system. Fucking 8% to 25%, right? That whole fucking thing. But, I don't know. It fucking sucks. It is just a fuck. It's a total fucking shit show. And I don't like making videos about this, because this is fucking depressing. This is millionaires. These people get, become millionaires over doing the only thing they have to do is just... Make the money bigger the next financial quarter. God's this fucking stupid. So, what I say is I say you vote uh, yes or vote yes. And this whole independent contractor thing is just, this company's still going to make money off of them. Just because you call it something else doesn't mean bullshit. Okay, I want to stop with that because they are not financially rewarded for their time and efforts. They're not running their own business. They are freaking shit lap dogs to FedEx. Now, there's a part two to this, and I am not playing video games, and I'm getting really uh, unnerved at this uh, propaganda bullshit. So, I will end it here. If you wish to seek out uh, how a company could fuck you over given the chance, uh, I recommend watching this video. So, yes, uh, always remember the fact that if we privatize the prisons, we will have mandatory minimum sentences.